Listen, this is why those two got beef. I'm gonna tell you to you to you the the cleanest I can give it to you and the quickest I can. In case you guys are watching this later, this is a live stream. But this is also the opportunity for you guys who are watching it later to hit up the Cash App. And you could donate. The name is Carcino on the Cash App. Or you could click the link in the description box and hit the stream lab up as others have done. It's the reason why you're seeing this live stream right now for those people who donated to the page So you guys can thank them Because this is the reason this video is up Now Somebody said it great. They play the same position That is correct Terry Rozier was a steal for the draft pick that he got. But the type of game that Terry Rozier plays on the court is very difficult for him to get on the court when you have a superstar point guard in Kyrie Irving who's won a championship. Kyrie demands 35 minutes of game play, period. So when he does come out of the game, you got another guy who's a, another superstar player that you got who who you who you signed to a massive contract and picked it up and and Gordon Hayward, so he would have to come in and play the two. Kyrie would switch to the two, and Rozier would switch to the one when they're in the game. But here's the situation: Gordon Hayward's going to require 30 plus minutes a game because he's paid already. So you can't be sitting him for Rozier. Now, here's the thing, and I hear Terry Terry going on doing these interviews and snapping off talking about how he was the man and, and everybody else is freaking out and saying this and saying that. He's been on ESPN talking like he's Allen Iverson. And I'm like, whoa. And by the way, since you guys, this is a live chat, you guys can hit the uh, like button if you like the topic of the video since you guys are here. That would only help the cause so people wouldn't believe that you guys are bots. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Now, moving right along, we hit the subject matter of... We're hitting a subject matter that's going to hit a lot of people's nerves. I'm here to tell you the truth. And I want to talk to Terry Rozier right quick. Terry, when you were in the playoffs last year, and this is what you're building your legacy off of, last year's playoffs. When last year's playoffs hit, Terry, why didn't you make it to the NBA Finals? Because you sucked it up in Game 7. You had a great Game 6, which made it close, but no cigar, but you choked. In game seven against Cleveland you had a good playoff run you had some good games but when it was mad at most you couldn't close the door you were dribbling the ball too much turning over the ball too much couldn't buy a shot shooting bricks all night so you did a lot of those games in the Cleveland series. You had a lot of those games in the Cleveland series. Your thing is you don't have the finish at the rim like Kyrie does. You don't have the English. You got the crossovers, you just don't have the English.
That's what I'm saying. You a superstar like you talking, you step up and close those deals. You don't let those deals close you. You don't sit on ESPN and talk like you Allen Iverson or somebody, or you was doing this and that. And I'm like, well, I can't really remember you being that guy during that run. You had some good games early in the playoffs, but during that series, maybe the first two games, were you really doing something? Well, you might have one good game, but come on, man. Do you deserve your problem was not with Kyrie Irving. Going into this season, when Terry was in there, he was playing like crap. And he was complaining about minutes. And when he got his minutes, what did you do with those minutes, Terry? You had, you were still inconsistent. One game you're good, one game you're bad. And then you like, man, I need more minutes. And the coach was trying to find you minutes. They were even going with a three guard set just so you can get minutes. They had too many people out there with less minutes and less time on the court. And there was nothing that they could do about it. So it's not a situation like everybody's teaming up to go up against um, Terry Rozier. But Kyrie Irving, sorry, you're just not. You're not a better shooter than Kyrie. You got a nice cross and all of that, but you ain't got that better than Kyrie. And you definitely don't have a better finish than Kyrie. So at what point of the conversation am I supposed to care what happens with you as you can see Boston's telling you you can go <laughs> Boston's like thank you for your service you can go so Terry Rozier where are you going to go that you're going to start that's the biggest question where are you going that you are going to start The Chicago Bulls? A better teammate. <laughs> I'm not looking here for better teammates. I'm looking for winners. I don't care if you're the worst teammate in the world. Can you win? Can we win with you? Now, if you're a worst teammate and we ain't winning... Now we got a problem because you ain't bringing nothing to the table. He won without Kyrie. What did he win? I remember him being inconsistent. That's what I remember. I remember him, his Keith Murray looking self. Costing them the dog on game seven because he couldn't buy a shot. Then he was scared to shoot. I don't need a guy like that. I need a guy that's going to be able to close the door in the end. <coughs> you know, he remind me of the guy from OKC, Dennis Short and Schroeder or whatever. He can't pass like Kyrie. He can't rebound like Kyrie. Nothing. Kyrie beats him in every category. But yet, he got all the mouth. You got a bunch of young guys over there who felt we made a run without Kyrie and them last year. I'm like, you did that because a lot of people underestimated you. That's called sneaking people, catching people off guard. You caught a lot of teams off guard. They never thought Jason Tatum was going to grow up like that. And he grew up in the playoffs that year. This year, you saw what happened when they honed in on him and they focused their attention on him. They treated him like a superstar, and he got the superstar treatment all the way down the line. You saw that, right? Well, no, wasn't just Kyrie. 
Kyrie made some bad decisions down there, but they basically didn't want to win no more. That team wanted to split up from each other. That team was not together at all. They were looking to get out. But my thing is, what does Terry want? What does he want out of this? You, you are um, basically selling yourself? Going on ESPN, blasting guys like that, talking about you the man and you needed to do this, and in Boston you couldn't do that. That's not what they want. Other teams see that, they see you as a problem. They see you like, man, this guy going to run the ESPN, whatever there's a problem. Let's see who offers Terry Rozier a big-time contract. Since he thinks he's this man, let's see. Because Boston is going to offer Kyrie the max, and Kyrie will be back in Boston. And everybody's going to be like, wow, Boston offer, did offer him the max contract. Be like, of course. Why would you let Kyrie Irving go out the door? I know I wouldn't let him go out no door. Granted, it's a very unpopular decision. But what is people going to do in these situations? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are they going to do in those situations? What team could Terry go to that he's going to start for? What team is on the rise and thinking, like, we want to get a championship? Is thinking, let's go get, we need in our lives. We need Terry Rozier. I can't think of one. And this is just me. I can't think of one team thinking we need Terry Rozier to win a game. Well, let's get him and put him on the team. The only place I could think that would probably take him, and they probably wouldn't, is the Chicago Bulls. That's it. The Chicago Bulls would be the only team I could think of that say, you know what, he fits. Brooklyn don't need him. I can't see where he starts. The Kings don't need you. This ain't even taking up a Kyrie. It's common sense. Do you think Terry Rozier is better at Kyrie Irving at what? Please, somebody tell me. <laughs> He's better at coming off the bench. <laughs> okay, you got me there. He's better at coming off the bench. No, I kind of like Kyrie on ESPN better than him. Kyrie can have a bad game, but Terry has a bad couple games, like a bad four five in a row to where it torpedoes a team. And here's the thing. When Kyrie was playing bad and you was in the game, what did you do? See, he gives me nothing to define him by. He's giving you situations and he gives you what social media does. Social media give you these optics that don't exist, that don't have any bearing on anything. Hey, thanks, Buddha, man. I appreciate that, man, on the Cash App. Let's get some new people on the Cash App. Everybody donating for y'all benefit. 
Y'all click the link in the description box and donate to the page. Show some support and some love for me dedicating my time. Terry Rozier, Keith Murray's son, has definitely led everybody the wrong way. No, the team was awful. The team, it wasn't just Kyrie. The whole team was awful. Y'all act like Kyrie was by himself out there. Everybody was awful. So the son of Keith Murray is out here talking about he on ESPN sitting there running his mouth like he Allen Iverson, like he James Harden. I just need the minutes. Okay, bum, where you going to start? Tell me that, Terry. Fine. Tell, tell me to name me the team he going to start for. Again, tell me a team he's going to start for. If Kimba Walker walks, you think that this guy's going to start for the Hornets? <laughs> They'll find a guy off the bench. Jordan ain't going for no Terry Rozier. But you know what? I hope it's the Bulls. I hope it's anybody. Hey. I hope there's anybody out there that they could find that they could stick in that situation. You know why I want to see it? Because I want him to show and prove. I'll be like, okay, we got bums out here walking around getting 25, 10, and fives. So let's see what you can do. Because right now, a bunch of people are going with younger guys, younger point guards, and they're starting You'll be coming off the bench no matter where you go. So I I hope you get the opportunity to start somewhere so I can see this great Terry Rozier that we're missing out on because he got to come off the bench. When you're not a better passer, better rebounder, better uh, game making, decision maker, better shot maker, better finisher at the rim, then Kyrie Irving. But yet and still, I got to hear about how great you are. I find that to be just completely insulting. It's insulting to my intelligence, your intelligence, the whole nine. Well, he... Well, he's someone who never honed his skills. See, when you don't hone your skills, this is what happens. When you don't hone in on your skills, this is what happens. It's called development. He never developed. He's somebody who had a bunch of talent and potential, natural born talent, but didn't work on skills. And when you do that, you, when, when you have nothing to fall back on, God blesses you with athleticism and everything else and all these tools and he's doing all these crossover moves and all these tip tap moves but in the end of the day when it's all said and done where is he when it comes to skills when it comes to the game on the line decision making I didn't see Kyrie win an NBA championship will we see Terry Rose in So shouts out to everybody. Don't forget to go out there and check out that uh, that Eminem video. That's crazy. You're going to like that.
So, I'm out.